shooting occurred, allegedly, she pressed him. Okay, all of this, a lot of people don't know because y'all don't be keeping y'all ears to these internet streets. But mm -hmm. there was um, an altercation between EJ and Megan in the club when they bumped into each other. At the oh, oh, at the card? No, no, it was at the Cardi B party in Vegas, wasn't it? And JT from the City Girls got involved. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Why I know all this tea? Why I know all this tea? I'm too messy, right now, man. Yeah. But nah, but that's where it happened at, real, didn't it? Yeah. That's where they low key. Yeah. See, I see, like I'll be on the mess. I'll be on the bullshit. <laughs> yeah. So I thought that they would um touch on that because it it played out publicly. It was all in the blogs. It it played out online. JC was making statements on Twitter regarding the altercation. So I thought it a bit odd that they didn't even touch on that because it would have spoke to how aggressive, in my opinion, and in everybody else's opinion that has come across her, right, that she's aggressive when she's inebriated, drunk. Yeah. So that's what you call it. You know, she seemed like the type, like, you know what I'm saying? She get drunk, you try to take her home, and, like, somebody bump into her, and she be trying, like, to slap niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, she... Be, like you gotta make sure like she don't bump in the club. Like I know women, like you know, I've you know, I'm I've been around enough women that I know is certain friends that I have, female friends that I've had in the past, that when they do drink, they just be getting unnecessarily kind of like aggressive. I got guy friends like that, but I know some women, just people in general, but sometimes it is some women who like when they drink, they get real like aggressive. Even if you date them sometimes, like they'll get drunk, you'll be like holding them and they'll look at you like this, like like size you up. No slap you in the jaw, but just that, like on some you, real checking shit. Let me tell you some. Let me tell you some real shit, right? Because my people know me. Y'all know I go deep with it sometimes, but I ain't trying to get too deep. But I'm just saying, right? All right. Stay clear, of them bitches. Them bitches who get all like that when they um inebriated, because they don't call it spirits for nothing, baby. And all that shit do is stir up your inside demons and shit that you dealing with. You understand what I'm saying? So get you a bitch who really don't drink like that. And when she do, she keep it real cute, like a little strawberry daiquiri, you know, a little martini, apple martini. Don't get you some bitch who could throw back shots to Casamigos like it's nothing. Shots of Henny like it's nothing. You ain't seen these 2022, what would you, you ain't seen these 2022 these bitches? Coming off the assembly line, what you talking about? Throwing and back that, amigos is a is if they and that's that why and this is why Tory is in the fucking situation that he's in now because he was with a bunch of hood bitches. I don't give a fuck. Listen, a listen, ain't no bitch today. outside not throwing back Casamigo shots. That's not, not true. throwing back shots of the do say of the Henny on a Don Julio. Let's <laughs> Meg started the what Meg did. We drive the boat. <laughs> we're that's driving a, the boat and they, a, what they said they said back what, what else, like, who are driving they, boats are fucking alcoholics in my opinion in my opinion listen they said Meg done crashed a few boats <laughs> listen ain't no woman out here in the year of our lord 2020-22 not throwing back shots at Casamigos and say. And pickle, what they, what they call them, pickle shots or whatever the fuck, picklebacks. Listen, that's some women, Florida shit. What the fuck is a pickleback? It's like pickle juice and like tequila or something. It's something weird. Yeah, I don't even like pickle juice. See, a bitch that that's those are bitches you want to stay clear of. You better get you a bitch that's drinking a martini, nigga. Listen, nah, uh, listen, listen. Bro, I like, like, angry, bitch. Are you? I'm cute, but it's a time. Get you a bitch who being classy and drinking her goddamn Corona out of a fucking wine glass before you get you a bitch who throwing back Casamigos. Listen, listen, oh no, 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 listen. It's a time and a place for everything. I I love a chick that gonna throw back. Matter of fact, I was on a date one time and we was at the bar. Bitch throwing back shots of pickle juice. You know what that bitch pussy tastes like? Are you kidding? Ooh! Me? Bars. This is coming. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. I ain't said she said it. Come from woman. That's, a, that's, a, that's why if your man's walking around and they breath smell like pickles all the time, you want to know why. You pickle juice back, coochie. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> hey, real quick, I'm gonna say this. Listen, that nigga a munch. <laughs> He's a pickle juice munch. <laughs> listen, I'm gonna say this real quick. Listen, real quick, real quick. I've actually been out with somebody and we um we were at the bar. Ordering shots, Casamigos, and she was like, 
Nini, pickled punani. <laughs> yeah, you know, bro, pickled punani. Pickled punani is, bro, we locking you up. I'm reporting this account tonight. We getting him up out of here. Whoever getting you up out of here right now. Oh, that's a uh, good, that's a good. Ne- yeah, yeah, Nini, we yeah, hey, we we getting you up off YouTube tonight. You out of bounds. Listen, no, no, put British shit back. I'm fucking with it. Now, nah, listen, um, nah, but I'm gonna keep it a buck. I know, um, like I said, I've been out before one time, and um, and I was we were ordering Cosmigo shots, and she was like, we should just get a bottle of Cosmigos, and we got a bottle of Cosmigos, and we had a good time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm not judging girls off of how they want to consume their liquor. I'm judging you on your behavior on the liquor you choose to consume. That's what I'm saying. If that and and it, it is not like what you do. It's like if you get violent, you get real messy, real sloppy. That's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at what you choose to drink to get you to that point, unless you're like exactly. getting a pack, unless you're getting a six pack of four locos, or you drinking Everclear, or you like, yo, I'm drinking Mad Dog 4040, or she drinking some Cisco Coke 45. And like, yeah, now I got a problem with how you're what you're consuming. This nigga said four loco. How he throw it back like that? Y'all remember when four loco came out? They had to get rid of that shit real quick and take out all that extra whatever. They cut it. it. Hey, listen, listen. Now the kids getting the cut. We <laughs> had the four loco fish scale. They cutting it now. They cutting now. <laughs> shit stepped in- on. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit stepped on. Hey, that four loco y'all on stepped on. That 2011 four loco, nigga. Nigga, niggas was in an emergency Yo, room. Yo, and you know how emergency it. rooms, and you know how bad it was for Art, me and the co- Like, my generation was like, like, just getting out of high school. We weren't able to drink it, but you know, <laughs> shit like, yeah, 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 yeah. So you, because you already know what I'm about. Yeah, that's appealing to see these whole ass little kids. Oh, we're <laughs> local, they got flavors. Oh, it tastes like soda. A half a Boy, can, you half a can, half a can. Your ass is gone. You is too far gone in the matrix. Yo, y'all niggas made me spit. This, this nigga said they still out. sell bad dog. Niggas, you still black. Y'all made me fucking water all over my fucking. Hey, man. listen, that's why I used to get kicked out of class. I didn't got kicked out of training classes in corporate America, making my coworkers spit their shit out. Hold on, y'all. I gotta clean my camera. This hey, listen, shit. that's what type of shit we got going on. Hey. You ain't no different from the niggas sitting at home in front of their laptops or their TVs, they phone watching us, <laughs> spitting out they red flavored Kool Aid like that's actually a flavor. When me and you was getting out of pocket and flavor. Why do us as a race only flavor Kool Aid by colors? Oh man, I only like red. Niggas don't even know that the blue is tropical punch. Is it? See, that's what I'm talking about. But that's neither here nor there. No, it's not because who the we're fuck talking about, is Meg. It? Blue We're, Kool-Aid anyway. Red is the best flavor there is. Man, I ain't nothing but sugar water. But look-